Believing big requires taking a step. Believing big requires taking a step. You've got to take a step. You've got to act. You've got to move. Otherwise, you're just going to find yourself bored. And it's not just kids that get bored. We can get bored. We can get bored with our kids. We can get bored with our family. We can get bored with school. We can get bored with our career. We can find ourselves just bored with life. I mean, if we're really being honest. And, and maybe you're sitting there and you're like, whoa, <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm bored of my kids or my marriage or my family or my career or my, or my life. I mean, that's, that's maybe kind of pushing the envelope. Well, here's how you know if you are. Here's how you know if you're bored. You find yourself saying that you're just tired all the time. You're nothing but busy. You've got no energy. You don't want to give anything to your family. Like when there's an opportunity to participate, you just don't want to exert any kind of energy to act or to get involved. You want to just get by with the absolute bare minimum when it comes to your job. And maybe, maybe the worst part of your day is when you're driving to work because you just absolutely dread it. Or maybe you go to school and you're completely uninspired. You're just not challenged. And so you're just kind of checking the days until the weekend. Or you're counting down the days until graduation. How do you know if you're bored with your marriage? You don't really talk anymore. You don't want to talk at all. You don't prioritize time together. It's just, it's just not a priority anymore. It used to be early on, but now you're just, kind of, you're just kind of bored. And parents, here's how you know if you're bored and disengaged with your kids. You're doing the yeah, yeah, what? If you don't know what that means. Your kid's talking to you, and you're disengaged. And so you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And your kid's like, what, really? Like, we can go there? Like, I can buy that? And you go, wait, what? (laughs) You're just not tracking, right? Like, you're just completely disengaged. And maybe at one point, maybe your dream was to have kids, was to have a family, and to create this culture of fun, of love, and adventure. And you just kind of drifted and stopped prioritizing that. You're bored. Here's what boredom does. Boredom comes from a lack of belief, which leads to a lack of action. Boredom comes from a lack of belief, which leads to a lack of action. We just get stuck, right? Like we just settle, and we just kind of coast. We just kind of survive. We just kind of drift. And maybe you're bored because you forgot what your dream was. Or maybe you think that it's not possible. And there's two sides to thinking that your dream is impossible. One is because you might think that you're too young. And the other, you might think it's because that you're too old. You think that you don't have the time. You don't have the resources. You don't have the creativity. You have no way of making your dream happen. And this is where God steps in. Like any good dad would do. I love watching parents with their kids when they're engaged, when they're pressing in. And what do parents usually do in those moments? That's what God does when he reminds us of what we've been created to do and how we've been created to live, right? He bends down on his knees and he looks us in the eye and he says, you got to go outside. Like, just go play. Trust me. It's going to happen. You just got to move. You just got to act. Go outside and play. That's what God is reminding us to do in these moments is to believe big. Believing big means believing that God gave me this dream. And if God gave me this dream, then he's going to help me make it happen. And I'm going to step out. And I'm going to trust that he's going to provide the resources, that he's going to provide the time, that he's going to provide the creativity that I need. That's what believing big looks like. And that's what it was with my kids. They had to trust me to go outside. And I just imagined them walking outside and they said, I'm going to act. I'm going to move. And I'm going to trust God to bring the rope and the wood. And I doubt they said any of those things. But just to be completely honest with you, you probably, 
boys, did you say this? Yeah, no, you didn't say any of those things. But they could have. But they went outside. They took that step. Believing big requires taking a step. 